Hello everyone and welcome to my bathroom. So in tonight's video, it's around 6 p.m. now, we are going to tackle my bathroom. I'm going to tell you how long it takes, I'm going to show you the before, the process, and the after. And this video is definitely coming on the heels of me watching the Netflix Marie Kondo show. I haven't read the book, but I feel like over the years I know all of the different concepts and I'm going to apply it to my bathroom and see how we do. It's become an absolute disaster. There's no more organization of any kind so that the two cabinets, so the one on the wall and the one underneath the sink, which I'll show you in a moment, um, are all just one big jumble of band-aids, beauty products, little Little bit of makeup that shouldn't be there, you know, health things, all of the usual medicine cabinet items, and just like a ton of face masks and body lotion and things like that. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. There are a lot of products there that are samples or old or expired. And so it's time to do a clear out. And I'm kind of trying to slowly do this to my whole apartment, but I think it's all about divide and conquer. Marie Kondo has a certain order to the home that you're supposed to do it in, but I'm actually doing it more by urgency. So this room of the house is the most disorganized by far. So here is the top of the sink area with all of my most used products and what I would love is if there was a way that some of these at least could be tucked in underneath in a way that they're kind of you know easily accessible but unfortunately that's not possible because of this situation so you can see how terrible it is. It's just one big mess um, and I'm so excited to clear it out and have it be um, organized and I bought some organizers that I'll show you in order to make that happen um, but the first thing I'm going to do is actually pull everything out because that's Marie Kondo's first step you make one big pile and there's also this great drawer which is not being used really at all it is um, very shallow but nonetheless I can definitely find some things that will fit in here much better than the current mess for the bathtub area, it would be nice to be able to tuck some of those things away in this cabin or in a cabinet, um, but there's just no room because everything is one big jumble. The only shelf that's a little bit organized is the top one, which is my sheet mask shelf, um, but everything else is just going to need to be dumped out. You can see. It's not completely full. Like You can see there are some spaces there, but... There's just no actual organization so that things have a place. All right, so where there's a mess, there's a cat. So we're going to do this together. Um, and the proper Marie Kondo way is you're supposed to go through every single item one by one and decide what sparks joy. Because these are bathroom items and I can just right away, it's sort of like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. I can see so many products that are just like really, really old. I'm just going to start picking those out right away because then I'll be at least able to see <laughs> what I have. Um, you know, with clothes, it's a lot more difficult and it does require a bit more of like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. But with these types of products, it's not about it sparking joy. If it's from like 2010, it probably needs to go in the trash. Anything that's full and more recent, you might consider donating because a lot of shelters do accept um, products and things like that. So that's going to be my first spell. I'm just going to pick out all the expired stuff and then we'll go through and actually take a look at what I love and what I want to keep and what essentially does, you know, spark joy. All right, 10 minute progress updates. So it all kind of looks more or less the same, maybe worse. It seems like sometimes mess needs to grow before it can get better. Just going to hop over. But well, hello there. <laughs> oh, BB. Here is the garbage pile. So believe it or not, this was on the floor 10 minutes ago and has now been sorted out. It's empties, a lot of packaging, a lot of um, just really old stuff and expired medications and things like that. All right, you ready for the next step? The other one thing I did is I started to pick out any kind of medications, Benadryl, that sort of thing. Next step I'm gonna do, which is start to corral like items with like and get rid of more stuff as I go along. So I now have, this should be the last thing that I am throwing away and everything else 
is theoretically up for keeps, I think. So I'm gonna go through everything one by one and start to corral everything into categories. A quick tip is to do that, have some storage bins on hand, large, medium, small. I think at least as a temporary measure, something like a Ziploc bag that you can see through is a good idea. I think on a permanent basis, I'm gonna leave Band-Aids in here because they're kind of hard and fiddly to store. If I had a small box with a lid, that would work well too, but I like that you can see through this. And let's say you cut your finger in the kitchen and you're looking for a particular size, you can kind of see through it and see what's available. So I'm gonna start to put them all away. Having gotten rid of some of the packaging, a lot of them were loose already, um, and kind of create a big bag of all of these different types of band-aids that I've built up over the years because the thing is, when you live in a bit of a mess like this, you start to rebuy the same thing over and over that you don't need. So I doubt that the last three times I've purchased band-aids, I actually needed them. So we have some progress. I have a pile of electronics here. If anybody would like a GHD hair curler, I think I've used it twice in my life um, and I'm not going to use it anymore, but it's a pretty expensive gadget, so I definitely wouldn't just toss it. Um, so, you know, make me an offer if there's someone out there who would like it. Um, everything else has now been categorized. So we have first aid, medicines and things like that, hair, Advil, which I feel like should just be by itself because you know when you need an Advil. Um, I've got razors and lip balm, dental care, which is nice because having this corralled, I realize I don't have a spare toothpaste, so maybe I should buy one. Um, teeth whitening strips, dental picks, um, things like that that go together. This is my one kind of miscellaneous. These are travel things, so all of my travel pouches, and then these are the samples that I've allowed myself to keep. I really recommend if you go on an adventure like this, especially if you have any subscription box um, things in your life, then definitely try and minimize this because they can really take over your life. I've deliberately never subscribed for anything, so it's really um, things that I get through my travels, things I get given, and these are the ones that I wanted to keep because I felt that I would actually use them. And then this bin is all face care, and this pile hasn't really been organized, but it's kind of um, mostly body care on the right and hair stuff on the left, so that still needs to be segregated. But what matters is that from all of this, I have an idea of the size of each category, how much real estate it will need once all of this is in. So I'm going to try and install these shelves. No promises though, because it may not fit. I didn't actually measure, which would be another good tip. Um, and then I got these clear, um, organizers and they're quite pricey so I just got a few but I think it will really help because I'll be able to see through them it's very dark under the sink it being a dark cabinet so I think they will help so I'm gonna drag everything into the hall in terms of the piles and start actually organizing the space all right Bibi now has room to roam once again because I am done so let me first show you this cabinet and I cleared what was pretty much an entire bathtub full of products to donate and toss. And I'm so proud of how everything has turned out. But sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. So you can see at the top there, I have my sheet masks and I thought they did fine there because I don't use them that often. Next one is miscellaneous. It's got things like brush cleaner. Um, up there that I don't use that often. Spare deodorant and Advil for easy reach. Then I have an eye care section with glasses, small um, contact lens solution bottles and contact lenses. A dental care tray. Then I've got spares of face cream. So eye balm, these are spares. Then I have a combination. So this is a transition shelf. I've got um, some hair tools there and I might actually add my bow collection, although I would worry about getting products on them. So maybe those will stay in my room, but you know, hair clips and bobby pins are there as well as um, on, you know, relatively easy access. It's not exactly within the line of sight, but I don't have to bend over to get there either, are all of my face serums. Um, and I'm really trying to encourage myself to use those more. 
Then I've got my favorite shelf of all. I think this is my favorite section. Um, these are face oils and face masks. Things that I have spent so much money on but really don't use enough. And so I'm really excited to have everything together for literally the first time ever, I think. Um, and I do tend to use face masks that are in a tube or a jar more than ones that are sheet masks. So it's really nice to have everything together. I think it's really visually pleasing too. Um, then I have just a general face care um, shelf. So these are face creams, um, little pads from First Aid Beauty. I use those really often, Strivectin, and then um, pads for makeup removal. And then the bottom shelf is all body cream. So you can see I've got quite the collection and it's time to start using some of these up. A lot of them are pretty empty. This one is almost completely empty. This is so good. Um, if you ever want something to kind of, you know, conceal little veins or blemishes um, or general pastiness on your legs, um, I really like that Jergens product. And um, just some really nice rich body balms for winter as well that are kind of both half used up. So I'm looking forward to clearing out part of the shelf and then being able to try new things. And then the grand reveal of my new under the sink. I am so pleased with how this turned out. And there are so many things underneath here that I didn't even know I had. I just bought these face wipes for my trip to Toronto. Guess what? I still had some, an almost full pack. Up there are all of my samples for easy reach for packing. And I hope to use all of those up finally. Excuse us. Um, and then I've got all my medicines and things like that there with an easy reach. This is my seasonal drawer. So it looks like a bit of a jumble, but it really is just things like bronzing, self-tanning, things with SPF that are good for summer. And then underneath here in these two bags, it might not look great, but I think this is gonna work really well for me. I've got all my band-aids and rubbing alcohol and things like that um, for whenever there's an emergency. And then I've got my feminine hygiene products here. These are all of my travel makeup bags that I put into this big case. And then over here are all of my bath tint things. So I've got my Epsom salts, Lush things, shower cap, all within one tray. In this drawer, I have all of my hair things. And I had a nice surprise today, which is I discovered that I'm not really all that addicted to hair products. This is really all I have um, that's not in my shower. You guys often ask me what I use for hair removal. This is it. I have two because I thought I lost one during the move, and so I bought another. Um, I will link it down below. It really is very awesome. It epilates your legs um, with hardly any pain and it works on really short hair. You really don't need to wait for more than a couple of days after shaving um, in order to be able to use it. Um, then these are just the products that I use every time I wash my hair. So this is the product I put on right after when my hair is still wet. And then I've got my blow dryer and I'm so happy I actually found the nozzle for it, which I hadn't seen in years. I'm really thrilled with how everything turned out. It feels a lot more calm and inviting in here even though everything is tucked away I know I can find everything um, and everything has its home which is the most important with organization so thank you so much for watching thanks to BB for her emotional support during this process and final count it took just under two hours we're at one hour and 45 minutes in case you were curious so it wasn't really all that bad so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye